When you're involved in property and you want to be at the top of your game, it's always important to be building your knowledge and building your expertise. And one of the ways to do that is constantly be gaining more knowledge and constantly be learning. And I find one of the easiest ways for me to be able to do that is via audio books. So earlier I used to read a lot of books, more recently it's a lot of the learning I tend to do is in audio format. And my preference for that is because I can increase the speed that I'm listening to uh, an audio book. So for example, it might be one and a half speed or even 1.75 and sometimes two speed, but generally can't get it faster than that in order to be able to have um, an audio book that you're listening to and you can still capture what's going on. So you'll find there's different ways to be able to learn. Some people will enjoy the written format where they need to write uh, things down as well. Other people maybe want to watch somebody to learn something. So when we're listening to books, or particularly when I'm listening to books at a, say a, a pace of say two speed, there's only a limited amount of information that you can capture. But what I try and do is think about how can I utilize what would traditionally be dead time? And uh, I learned this uh, from Brian Tracy. He used to talk about turning your car into a university. So when I'm traveling from place to place, rather than wasting my time listening to the radio or chewing gum for the brain, why don't I use something which is going to be more meaningful, more beneficial, and more learning uh, that I could do? And hence having an audio book um, that you may be listening to during your journey. Now, if you do say uh, a half hour travel to one destination, a half hour back, that's an hour that you've lost. But actually in that hour, you could have been doing some learning. And if you listen to something on two speed, you're essentially picking up the equipment to two hours of learning in that journey that would have been wasted time anyway. Some people refer to this as net time, i.e. no extra time, how you can get something done and uh, be more productive without actually utilizing any more time. So my preferences or my morning routine when I jump out of bed, the first thing I do, I've got a waterproof uh, headphones that I put on and I'll pick a, a book that I'm listening to or continue a book that I'm already listening to and I'll put that on. So by the time I jump out of uh, bed and I've got ready, you know, I've uh, had a shower, I had breakfast, and by the time I get to a de my desk, that might be an hour that's maybe already gone. And during that hour, I've consumed two hours of content. Now, those two hours of content might not be quality consumption, i.e. I haven't necessarily listened to every word carefully, but I'm quickly picking up that information. Now, when we, uh, for example, let's say you're watching a film, the first time you watch that film will give you a certain experience. And if you go to watch that film again a second time, say a few months later, a year later, you'll probably find you'll spot certain things that you didn't see the first time. Now, has the film changed? No, the film hasn't changed, but you've evolved or you're, um, you're in a different position uh, when you're watching that film for the second time. And when it comes to books, it's exactly the same thing. So I'd rather listen to a book two or three times on a fast speed than listen to it once because I get much more out of it that way. I mentioned Brian Tracy earlier on. I'm certainly a big fan of Brian Tracy. And I remember when he was in the UK once about 12 or 13 years ago, I was fortunate enough to be able to, to meet him uh, then. And one of his uh, books that I really enjoy is Eat That Frog. It's about productivity and how you can get the most out of the day. So I'd encourage you to have a look at that book. Some of my other favorite books is How to Win Friends and Influence People. Um, we've also got, um, got The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Again, it's about productivity. And then uh, a property book that I quite like is Donald Trump's book, The Art of the Deal. Now, whatever you think of uh, the guy and about his politics, you put all that aside for a moment, but you understand how he built quite a significant property portfolio in a property business by some of the smart strategies and techniques that he used. Um, there's a lot of learning in that book. Hey, if you're enjoying these Sag daily videos, then what I'd like you to do is click on my face over here to subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell in order to get the notifications when these videos are being released. Then what to do next, click on this video here and I'll see you over here on this video next.